All right, man. Punk Hazard is heating up. L literally. Okay, okay, stop booing. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. And I'm, dude, I'm so excited today because it is getting crazy. We had Sanji versus Virgo. We had Luffy versus Caesar. And we're starting to find out Law's true plan here. And that's to get into whatever sad is. Because supposedly whatever is in sad or whatever sad is, is going to shake up the new world. And he's in the room with it right now. We're gonna hop right into it. Drop a fat like on this one if you haven't already. Thank you. And let's get started. Oh, thank goodness we start with this, bro. I mean, if this is just two episodes of him just walking through this room, I wouldn't be shocked, though. What is sad? I'm still riding on the guess that D is dinosaur. Wouldn't be far off from dragons, man. And it, the question is, is it like a creature? Is it a gas? Is it poison? Is it just a gun? <laughs> Imagine it's just like a revolver. It's like the ultimate weapon. Wait, they're not gonna get in. Yeah. Oh my, wait, they actually didn't get in. Sanji! Oh my God, wait, watch him kick through it. But then it endangers them. Uh, let's go, baby! When did he get through? Oh my gosh. Cutie son. He's lucky he had a badass moment last time. His leg. Oh, shoot. He's like actually injured, injured. I'm glad they're kind of hanging on to that, though. Because it literally cracked. That's what I said. If he kept biting, he would have lost. Oh my God. It hurts to look at. Like my shin hurts. Can does she explain to them what's going on? Like she knows. What? What is she doing? Did, did, maybe she thinks that this isn't the right scenario to tell them. I don't know. What's the point of lying? Make them fight for something and not question everything they've ever known. And now Sanji's like, I'll just go along with it. Because I think he knows the truth too. Like that, that that's him. Mm. See, now they stay inspired. Yeah, they won't feel all dejected that everything they've known has been a lie. I, I guess that's smart. What is that? What? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, shoot. The New World Dress Rosa. Do Flamingo. Treat him as my younger brother. Yeah, underground broker joker. Yeah. Oh, shoot. SAD manufacturing. Oh, what the? What the? What is going on? Destroy that. Is that what he's going to do? Who is this? What's happening here? Oh my gosh! Did her arm turn into the gun? He just took it! Kill Caesar? What? Oh my... Produce... Oh... Who is that? Bro... No one else... Oh, it's a gas! It is a gas! Ruin my business. Baby five? <laughs> He's still just sitting there! There's so much happening! I, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Wait, really? Law's rebelling. God, I love Doflamingo's voice so much. Oh my gosh. So Doflamingo has known Law for a very long time. Yeah, sure. Try killing Law. Oh, wait. He has his heart. Never mind. That might be a little easier than I thought. Boy, she's still just going for it. There's no way he makes her shoot herself. Oh my gosh. Dude, this this is some insanely big scheme. Uh-huh. You best know. Higher caliber. He sees him as a higher caliber than Law just because of Conqueror's hockey. I mean, it makes sense because it's so rare. <laughs> Caesar's like, I fought him? Bro, this is crazy. Baby five and buffalo. Oh my gosh. Bro, what is happening? What is SAD? And was, so Caesar's the only one that can produce it. Hmm. 
So she produces snow or ice. That was like that, that wall of ice that she produced over Caesar. She just produces it? Like from where? It's not like coming out of her. Oh, snow, snow fruit. Control snow. Yeah, but where does it manifest from? She just spawns it? Her voice actress sounds a lot like Nami. Snow, snow. And she's gonna freeze him, bro. And when rubber freezes, it snaps. She also has like this advantage of being part bird. Like she can fly around, control snow. I'm guessing she's relatively pretty much immune to like freezing or anything. Like she has like the best of both worlds, honestly. She bad as hell. <laughs> We're just hitting every base, man. So that's why she said Dovomingo would kill her if she let anything happen to Caesar because Caesar's apparently, again, so important to this plan of Dovomingo's. And she's not trying to defeat Luffy. She's just trying to, like, lock him down. And after finding out he uses Conqueror's Hockey, I don't th think she thinks she can defeat him if she wanted to. She gone? Oh, shoot. Just dipped. That door's open. Oh. She's just messing with them. Oh my gosh, Chopper and uh, uh, freaking uh, uh, Mocha. It's been so long. They're still just holding this door. He's got to keep those kids trapped for a little while. Let the effect wire off more. Oh my gosh. Throw out all the candies. No option for them. I mean, it's smart. Run, Mocha. Run. Oh my gosh, they're like zombies. Dude, seeing how big they are compared to Chopper is terrifying, too. Meanwhile, this ragtag group. Dude, they're, this is so chaotic. There's so much going on. I want to go back to law, man. This whole lab's going to blow up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like chemicals and stuff. And the gas outside. Like, this whole island is just catastrophe. It's so chaotic. I love it. Uh can't hold my own. It's a grudge against dragons in general? Oh. <laughs> Why? What? Oh my gosh. His attitude towards me. Uh, what? What? He was disappointed by Brook? <laughs> It's so stupid, man. Yeah, he has no meat, man. Aww. He was personally insulted. Robin just hates the yelling. Oh my gosh. Why does he hate dragons, bro? Watashi, Sisha. Oh my gosh. Nami's gonna take it into her own hands. Oh my gosh, never mind. Oh wait, she is. She's gonna electrocute him. Nice, Nami. Hell yeah. All right, so can somebody in the comics explain the Watasha joke? No, not the poor dragon. I hope they don't kill this one too. Long-nosed goblin monster. He's gonna be terrified by Robin's powers. Courtesan? I don't know what that means, but it's gotta be sexist, bro. <laughs> I love their competition to take down this dragon. I mean, the question is whether or not Kinemon has a more valid reason to not like dragons than Brook. I'm prepared for anything, honestly. You're gonna fight fire with fire. That is so sick. So what did Doflamingo do to that girl's boyfriend? <laughs> we never asked that question. Oh no, they're gonna kill this one too, man. No, little dragoon. Guys! Uh, uh, Kinemon? Uh, I have a good reason. Maybe dragons did kill his parents. No worse. It's gonna be something stupid, man. It's gonna be so dumb. Can we know why? Okay, of course not, man. They just hop right back on. Oh, shoot. World's colliding. Oh, Chopper's all bloodied. Trying to hold him back. Hold the line, bud. No. Oh, my gosh. Oh, gosh. Everybody's getting closer and closer, though. 
Oh, they're checking all of them. What about they're checking their temperatures, though? Just to make sure they're not sick? The boy? What? Secret room. Transformed into a small dragon? Wait! Get him on son! What? Wait! That is his son, right? Mononosuke. Wait, what? She said he transformed the secret room where no one's allowed and transformed into a dragon. What? Okay, so the, 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 I, he may genuinely have a reason to not like dragons. I'm so sorry. Okay, really quickly, I want to go back to... Dude, so we see Dressrosa, the new world Dressrosa. We got the pool, the ladies having fun, the flamingo laughing. We have this girl who like puts uh, a giant berry looking things on her hands and it eats them and has like an eyeglass uh booty so i have treated him as my younger brother and watched closely over him as he grew up so doflamingo has known law as a child interesting yeah i guess before we really didn't know anything about law to be honest so i'm guessing law grew up in dress rosa if that's where doflamingo grew up and Caesar is the only one that can produce sad. So if Caesar dies, sad is gone and his business is ruined. I love this guy's design. This guy, he looks like steampunk. He looks like a robot. He looks sick and it will ruin his business. Okay. I didn't really get the whole, I didn't buy a camera and he's like, oh yeah, that's right. I, I don't know if that's just Virgo being a goofball. He did something to her boyfriend. She can like transform her body into weapons. Kind of cool, kind of random. I don't know if it's a devil fruit. And he said, I'm going to send baby five and and Buffalo, and then they all need to come to Dress Rosa. So Baby Five and Buffalo are going to Punk Hazard, and he wants Monet, Virgo, and Caesar to come all come back too. Okay. Getting juicy, man. Next ne next episode. This is Virgo? Yep, he's still going. Dude, please, just let me find out what sad is. It's teasing so hard. Just put it in, man. Like, how big is this place? Go back to the room. Yes. D. Yes. Hold up. Dude, this is a giant chamber, too. So, Doflamingo did confirm it's a gas. He is going to cut it. He's going to make a room first. But how could Do how could Law use it? Because he said it's something we could use in the new world. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, shoot. And he has his heart still. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. He has full control over him. What, Ego? Torment, okay. That makes sense. Jeez. He wants to really, like, torture him. Like, that time! What time? Oh my god, he's too fast for law. Oh, shoot. He's said, I'm gonna do this without using your heart against you. God damn! What's stopping law from making a room? Just having to get it off? You said, get out, boy! Dang! Oh my gosh. Gods can bleed. Uh, this is another endurance thing. Like, just freeze Luffy slowly. She's not even trying to fight him. Just run him down. He is going to get more and more tired, with, especially with the snow. He's not going to see through it either. He's just going to keep going. That's not Luffy's style to just sit down and look at the situation, really. He's a very straightforward guy. She's just... Still making more and more and more. Bro, he's going to run himself down. This is wall after wall. Up. Oh. My gosh. I'm being able to spawn snow is kind of crazy. 10 layer. Oh my gosh. How big is this room? Dude, she could do this and then someone could just die inside of it. You would never escape. She's toying with them. Oh my, ooh, I kind of liked that. She can make like snow clones. Yeah, she knows. Especially because she knows about the Congress hockey now. Mm. She's smart. Oh, she's freezing him. Bro. Luffy, please! And why am I kind of jealous of a man? Just looks nice. I'm lonely. Dude, these white screens are always like earth shattering. I see how much, how dirty my monitor is. He's just gonna straight up pass out. Somebody's gonna have to, have to come for him. Damn, bro! Monet's clapping our boy's cheeks, man! Oh 
don't go into the light. Straight up just neutralized our MC in like 30 minutes, bro. Yes! Yes! Fuck yeah, baby, I love that! Get a damn grip! Oh my, I broke the floor! Oh my gosh, I love that! It was what Zoro just said. They're falling for just stupid stuff. Oh my gosh, it snapped them back. I love that. That shit got me hype. The garbage dump. Unless he can fly. He'll find a way out. Don't worry. This will work out somehow. Oh, it straight up is a garbage dump. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Why did they make the garbage dump look like this? Hold the line, Chopper! Hold the line! You can't reason with them. I love his antlers. Oh no, they're even biting on him! Oh. Oh. Oh, this is so sad! Oh my gosh! My boy! Ah, he's too big and strong for his own good. What? He used too much energy. His little paw! Don't trample him, please! No! No, chop! Okay, okay, he's fine, he's fine. Oh, oh my gosh. My son was in danger. Oh. But he can try and bank on, on Mocha having gotten there and throwing him out. Chopper. Nami! <laughs> Where's Brownbeard? Did he keep going? Yeah, bro, can we talk about your son, Kinemon? He's crying! You've done all you could, Chop. Oh my gosh, she has them all. Oh, she has one. Okay, well, Mocha, you better run because they are literally going to like kill you trying to get that candy, bro. Bro, this is like Black Friday, bro. And Mocha's the retail worker. Oh, shoot. Wait, they actually stopped them. Oh my gosh, bro. It's like little ants crawling around on her hands. Ants with pipes that hit you. She's only holding one candy, guys. Where's the rest? Are they supposed to all share it? <sighs> yeah, bro. I, uh, we either need to cut the law. Whatever the hell's going on with Kenemon's son. Because either lead is actually bonkers, man. Oh... Oh. Now you gotta cut your losses and just give them the antidote later. <laughs> this rat bastard! Selfish mocha! Oh no. <gasps> Wait, Snow is uh, Monet. I thought it was gonna be Caesar for a second. Where is Caesar? She snowed them in. Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, Caesar's probably going to the sad room to stop Law, too. Oh, it's sad that she looks at Monet and it's like, she's like relieved. Uh. Oh, can the Straw Hats just jump her, please? Before she does this? Sorcery. I mean, this is kind of like, this is not that, that worrying, I don't think. Like I said, the Straw Hats can just jump Monet, I think. Exam room. Oh, we're still talking. Yes! Can we get more explanation? I was wondering why this scene was so slow, like leading up to it. Like, what do you mean transformed into a small dragon, bro? Got here on the ship with him. So Mononosuke may be a, a mythical Zoan. Does it eat? Like the candies? The secret. What is the secret room then? Like, did they do tests on him to transform into a dragon? Or did he just eat a devil fruit for it? Let the master know that a kid knows? Oh, this is crazy. Okay, so obviously Caesar knows about Mononosuke. Oh, this is the secret room. Is this where he is? It was a Vegapunk phone. A secret lab. He sees all of them. The law. Law's down down. Like straight up. This is an interesting looking room. Like the little DNA in the corner. Oh, he's just beating the tar out of him. It's not even a fight, man. Oh, this is sad. 
Is it? Well, I mean, it kind of is. The fact that they've gone this far in the lab is shocking. His heart. Hey, no cheatsy doodles. You said you wouldn't use the heart. Hey, Virgo. Hey, young man. Keep your word. What was all that big talk about not eating it? He's still trying to. And he still does. Wait. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, my gosh. Kick the shit out of him. That was crazy. Oh, boom. Oh, my God. Virgo is scary, man. Boom. Oh, jeez. His hat. No. Oh, it's kind of weird seeing him without the hat. It's kind of wrong. It's like he's, like, naked. Oh. What's he doing? What? It was electricity. Excuse me? What the, how did he just do that? Did he have a room open still? Oh, damn. That hit him like straight on. Bro, Law, Law looks so different with no hat. Oh. What a shame. Dude, Law, you know what? He, he kind of looks like he's related to Luffy, like without his hat, his hair. It's kind of bizarre. Like, tell it. I see it, man. It's weird. Oh, bro, Law could die, man. He's just, he's just, oh, wait, he's gonna try something. Oh, maybe not. Oh my gosh. Oh, and Caesar's gonna show up too. Oh, wait, no, Caesar went to that secret room. What? Oh, he is here. Oh, shit, I forgot about Smoker. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. This shit is crazy. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so more questions and more answers this episode. I don't think the room that Caesar went to is the secret room where Mononosuke is or was. But now, like, like I said, the question remains is like, what, I guess, gri gripe does uh, Kanemon have against dragons? And it's probably somewhat related to the fact that his son turns into one. So I'm assuming he already knew that, like, prior. This isn't like a new thing since he got to the lab. So yeah, I, wait, I just, I kind of just broke that down. I don't think any testing that Caesar did while the kids were here turned Mononosuke into the dragon. So it may have been a devil fruit before he even got to this island, before he was even taken to Punk Hazard. So maybe they wanted him to test on him because he's able to turn into a dragon, mayhaps. And honestly, that might be how they produced more, maybe? I don't know. Either way, though, dude, like every time it cuts to something else, I'm like, oh, this is gonna be crazy. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. Like the four episodes of them running through the uh, running from the smoke was worth the payoff because this is this is insane. And now they're just all in that room with Monet. Like I said, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Like I think they can take her down pretty easily unless she just traps all of them. I really don't know. I don't see that happening though. Luffy's in uh, a garbage dump. But like I said, I think he'll find some stupid obscure way to get out of there. But yeah dude just like the it's the intrigue mixed with the hype fights that just it, it makes the whole show but guys that's been it for my reaction to one piece today i hope you did enjoy drop a sub on the channel if you're new so you don't miss any of the rest of the craziness and i'll see you in the next one peace peace